Ah, a blow dryer. Ah. <laughs> Stop being afraid of a blow dryer, okay? I get comments still to this day. Salon guy, you know, I don't want to use a blow dryer. I'm afraid of heat. Uh, it's, a blow dryer is gonna damage my hair. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Well, uh, for the 800th time, I'm here to tell you that this is not gonna do any, wait, what just happened here? Yes, this is the blow dryer that I sell on my website and I'm happy to announce we had upgraded packaging now, so uh, we've made a little bit of uh, some design changes to the blow dryers, because you keep buying these. At first I started with like, I don't know, like 20 of them or something like that as a test. They all sold out. And then I went to the next level of uh, having to order more. And then what's happening is because these are being purchased so much, I was able to make some upgrades to not only the technology, which is, it's Ionic, this is an Ionic dryer, but also the packaging. So we've done some really cool updates with the packaging, but it does come with a, a nozzle, right? Which you need the nozzle, all right? Magnetic attachments, that was another upgrade we did. And it also comes with the diffuser, okay? This is great for straight hair, this is great for curly hair or wavy hair or making curls or making waves, you have to go with this. And yes, it's ionic, which means that it's helping seek out. Oh, oh my God. See, we keep everything live. Um, it, it seeks out negative charges. That's what the ionic process does. So it's looking for damage in your hair and it's making the positive charge. So it's trying to condition and help protect your hair from any more heat damage or things like that. So basically, that's, that's what we have in a nutshell. So if you are afraid of a blow dryer, it's probably because something may have happened in the past, you may have singed your hair. So if you're blow drying your hair, you spray some product on it, the moisture, it's like when you, when you are putting out a fire, right? Something that's warm or hot and you throw water on it, you're gonna see the, the steam and the smoke. Well, when it comes to wet or damp hair, because the heat is drying that hair, it's, it's getting rid of that water, it's drying it up because of the heat you may see some steam or some light smoke, uh, especially from the product as well. It's very, 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 very normal because it has to go somewhere and you're gonna see it. Now, what you don't wanna do, and this is why you should be afraid of a blow dryer when, if this potentially happens, is let's say, for example, you have a brush here and you just sit there like this and you're sitting there and, all right, you're, 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 you're gonna go watch, you know, Stranger Things all, every season while this is like this and you're gonna come back six days later, your hair is gonna basically be on fire, all right? Your hair is gonna, it's gonna smoke, it's gonna cause damage, and it's gonna be an awful situation. So you don't wanna use the, the blow dryer improperly, and I have dozens upon dozens of videos. Just search the Salon Guy blow dryer, okay? You'll see, or how to blow dry the Salon Guy, stuff like that, you'll see that what I do when I blow dry is I constantly keep the brush and the nozzle moving. I never ever, hardly ever sit there like this for a matter of even 20 seconds, 15 seconds. It's always constantly moving. The most I'll hold it is like this, all right, and then I'll let it go. But what I like to do is get the heat on the, the barrel of the brush because what that's doing, it's actually going onto the hair, so it's, it's causing and spreading the heat from the brush onto the hair strand so it's transferring the heat there. That is gonna help dry it and smooth it out as compared to just locking it in like this. Because what you're doing is you're focusing the hair and, or the heat right here, just on that one area. That's, that could cause damage to your hair, okay? So you shouldn't be afraid of a blow dryer if you know how to use it properly, all right? And with the technology in this dryer, you know, and there's loads and loads and loads and loads of dryers. I purchased a Dyson in the past. I mean, you know, there's loads of great dryers out there. This just happens to be one that I have under my brand. And what's great is you can fold this in half for travel sizes. We only sell them in the United States due to the, the plug here. Uh, it's only designed as of right now uh, for the United States. Okay, so if you're buying this in Europe, chances are there may be an issue. I wouldn't do that. So. Uh, this is only made for the United States. But anyway, you know, hopefully that helps solve the mystery and the issue for you is do not be afraid of the blow dryer. If you don't want to use one, then fine. 
But if you are looking for tons of volume, or you want your hair to be super smooth and super silky, you have to use tools. That's what tools are made for. The blow dryer, the brushes, you know, the clips and products. We all, that's all made to change the texture of your hair to make it look how you want. So don't be afraid of it, all right? Use 25 spray. Uh, it's a great foundational spray that actually has 25 benefits to it, which is this right here, 25 spray, okay? So lastly, if you are looking to purchase anything, use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20 at shop.theslonguy.com. Anything, the brushes. Also, it's free shipping on orders over $60, so you're getting free shipping on this anyway, and you're getting 20% off. I mean, you all keep taking advantage of that. Stop it. <laughs> but, you know, thank you for all the support of purchasing the brushes, purchasing the blow dryer. Uh, I really appreciate it, but let me know in the comments below if this helped ease your fear of using a blow dryer. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.